Okay, this is a distance time graph. Um, I think it was done fairly poorly by our class, so it's going to be a good one to learn. On Monday, Rhea delivered a parcel to a hospital. The travel graph represents Rhea's journey to hospital. So, if you've got like a diagonal line, there's some travelling going on. If you've got a stationary line, that means they're not going any further away from their house, so they're just staying still somewhere here. They're still somewhere there. And then they're speeding off somewhere else there. Rhea left her home at 1300, so that I know that's there. That's not happened before, we've no, had no units on there, that's interesting. And she drove for 30 minutes at a constant speed of 40 miles per hour. So this is the constant speed that she's driving at, and that's to there, and that's half an hour. So I know this scale now. So I'm just going to pop that scale on, because it'll be useful. It takes a bit of time, but it's well worth it, because it might make things easier to navigate later. Okay, I'm trying to do 24 hour clock. Right, so we've got my scale on. Um, she then stopped for a break. She then drove to, um, to the hospital at constant speed. Uh, she was at the hospital for 30 minutes. She then drove home at a constant speed of 32 miles an hour. Show that so she does not arrive home uh, before 6.30. Okay, so that's what we have to do. Now we need to get some units on here. So we can work out um, the rest of this journey here. Okay, so um, <clears throat> if you travel for an hour and you do 40 miles per hour, you do 40 miles. Here, she drove for half an hour, so would have done half of that. So that is 20 miles, that's 20. So every four squares is 20. That's just going to make it easier. So that means every two squares is 10. And that's just thinking carefully about miles per hour. So again, if it was a full hour at this speed, she'd have travelled 40 miles. So if she'd gone up to there for an hour, that would have been 40. So that makes sense. That's there. But she didn't. The first part was half an hour, half of an hour. So she did half of that journey. Okay. Let's see what we've got to do again. So she was at the hospital for 30 minutes. So she drove somewhere, she was driving somewhere, she stopped on the way, she then continues the hospital, and then she stopped for half an hour. So let's get that horizontal part in. She's there for half an hour. And then she's going to come back at a constant speed of 32 miles an hour. Okay? So she's got 40 miles to go. Okay? So 40 miles to go. And she's going to travel at a constant speed to come down here. Okay? So... We need to figure out how long it's going to take her. So she's got 40 miles. Okay, we know her speed, so that's distance. We know her speed is 32 miles per hour. Okay, and if we want to know how long it's going to take her, okay, again, it's another one of these triangles. The uh, DEST, distance speed time. We've got distance, 40. And we've got the speed at 32. So let's try and figure that out. It's non calculator, so we've got a fraction. So it's best to think of it like a fraction, break it down, simplify that fraction, and then it will probably reveal an easy calculation. So we'll simplify that. They're both in the 8 times table. So that leaves 5 over, right, so 8 into 32, 4. So I give myself some space. 5 divided by 4 is, if it was a mixed number, 1 and a quarter hours. Okay, so it's going to take a 1 and a quarter of hours from there. So let's look at this. If she travels home at 1 and a quarter of hours from 3.30, 1 and a quarter, well here's 1 hour to here, 1 and a quarter will take her to here. So that journey shows, that should be a straight line, that she'll not arrive home before 16.30. In my back of my mind I was thinking she had to arrive before, so I was like, oh dear, I think I've got it wrong. But you can see that she arrived after 16.30.